Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, guys today I'm going to show you how to uh, embed videos on your HTML document. Guys, uh, I'll be using Dreamweaver CS 5.5, the latest Dreamweaver version to do that. Okay guys, have a look out here. This folder on my desktop, which is my side, is my local side folder. And let me show you the assets inside it. Okay. Guys, we have an MP3 music file as well as we have a video. Okay. And uh, we'll be using both of them in our uh, HTML document. And let's see how we can actually do that. So let's head straight to Dreamweaver. Okay. Now, guys, this is Dreamweaver CS55. And I'm going to hit the create new HTML button. Okay, guys, have a look that I'll be using only the code view for this example. Okay. Now, whatever is inside the body tags is actually what uh, appears on the web page. So, whatever is not, let me just select it and let me collapse it. That makes uh, working very easy. Okay, cool. Guys, for this example, although the video tag is a great way of going about it, but uh, I also like the object tag, especially because it allows you the param tag, the parameter tag to uh, apply certain parameters to the plugins okay so let's use the object tag instead of the video tag let's see how we can actually do with the help of the object tag so that's uh, an opening object tag all right since we have an opening object tag guys we need to have a closing object tag too all right and inside the opening object tag guys I need to pass in certain parameters the first parameter that I would need is to point to the actual file and that can be done with the help of the data parameter the moment I select data guys I can actually browse for the file right and let me go with the uh, wildlife uh, mp4 video file okay let me just right click and uh, I just want to be sure of the size of the video let me just go back to my local site folder for a moment let me cancel it up let me just go back to my local site folder yeah out here you can actually see that the size of the video is 512 by 384 okay 512 by 384 let me make a mental note of it okay let me head back to dream weaver okay so let me insert the the data attribute once again browse for the file that's wildlife okay then guys I need to pass in the width the width guys wasn't it 512 okay and the height width was 512 and the height guys was 384 so that's a 384 okay and that's all that I need to play the video on the web page let me be sure by testing it out so I'm gonna save it I'm gonna call this object underscore param tag parameter tag we'll be using the parameter tag in a moment guys so saving it in my side let me save it up okay let's take a preview let's say in Firefox <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, I've actually stopped the video. Now, guys, have a look out here. The options to play and mute, which are down below out here, the seek bar, isn't clearly visible. That's because I have inserted the actual video size, but I would need to increase the height of the video just to accommodate for the, uh, the controls, the playing controls, you know. So, what I'll need to do is let me head back to Dreamweaver and the height instead of 384, let me go with 400. To make sure that the controls for playing the video are actually visible too that's important guys what is happening out here is since this is an mp4 file it's uh, using a plugin a quick time plugin okay depending on the uh, data type 
see we are using mp4 it, it, it could have been a WMV in which case uh, a Windows media plugin would have come into the picture your browsers should have those plugins guys if they don't you might be prompted to download those plugins but most modern br browsers shouldn't face a problem okay so it's we are using the plugins guys and uh, out here the QuickTime plugin came to the picture but to accommodate for the controls I've increased the height let's take a preview in Google let's say Safari this time after saving the changes to the HTML document cool okay uh, now you can actually see the controls uh, clearly guys here at, at the bottom this is uh, for the you know the volume control this is the play button okay what if guys you didn't need you didn't want it to auto play what if you actually wanted it to play only when you hit the play button yes that's possible using the param tag okay you can pass in the parameters to control the video what if you wanted the video to loop the default is uh, it will not repeat itself it just play once and come to a halt but what if you wanted to loop we can actually control that using the param tag and let's see how we can actually do that let me head back to dreamweaver and guys this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the parameters button okay and uh, the first parameter that I'll pass in is autoplay okay and as far as the value is concerned I'm gonna say true so I would want it to autoplay instantly no let, let, let me let me say false the default is true beg your pardon okay and as far as the second parameter is concerned I'm gonna say loop and uh, the value that I would want to pass is true the default is false in the case I've passed in two parameters guys let me say okay and notice out here we have an opening uh, param tag out here we have a name attribute which is set to autoplay the value is set to false and we have another param tag out here you can see that it's, it's close to the, the forward slash okay so the name is loop and the value is true okay so what we have done is we basically reverse the defaults guys and now if I take a preview in let's say Safari let's see how things look like right now let me say okay say yes and uh, there you go guys so for the first time I'm having to initiate the video by hitting the play button <laughs> And you can see that it actually loops. It should loop again. Wonderful. So guys, you see that, uh, you see the reason why I actually love the object tag is because you can use the param tags to pass in the uh, parameters like autoplay and loop. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm not using the embed tag you'll not be able to use the param tag then cool uh, let's see what else uh, let's see what if it were a, a, a you know an audio okay so what I can do is I can be in the opening object tag and out here in the properties panel guys where you see the data and inside the data you can data field you can see the name of the file that's being played right now I can change it I can just delete it and I can say music dot mp3 okay let me hit enter and the moment I do that guys you can see that uh, the music dot mp3 appears out here in front of data okay let me keep every uh, the param tags just the way it is but I cannot keep the height to be a 400 I'm I'm okay if the, the width is 512 that's fine but I, I should be uh, keeping it a lot smaller let's say around 25 pixels okay let's see how things look like right now let's take a preview in uh, safari and uh, should come up any moment there it is guys uh, now i can actually hit the play button to initiate the audio okay and uh, according to the parameter it should loop again and again and again which it does indeed all right so guys this is how you can play audio and video using the object and the param tags in combination all right so i hope you like this tutorial learn something from it and i hope to see you very soon with yet another dream weaver uh, tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace